Okay, today's test drive is this 1968 Chevrolet Chevelle. It's got a GM 350 motor. It says 327. This is the 350. It's got power steering and power brakes. And it's really clean. That's inside and out. Aftermarket set of wheels, disc brakes. Beautiful interior, matching the paint job. Blue on blue with the white convertible top. And there's detailed pictures of that top. Also, when we get back, we'll probably lift it up, take a look at it inside and out. And we're also going to look at chips, scratches, dents, if it's there. Shouldn't be too much on this one. But go to maplemotors.com. Financing is available on all of our cars. We also have shipping. And of course, we go through 60 cars a month, so there's always something new here. Keep in mind, all these rods are 50 years old, and that's why I'm doing these videos 50 years plus. All right, guys, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Checking out this interior. We've got a tack. Oil pressure and water temperature gauge below the dash. Aftermarket radio, it's older tape player there. The dash actually looks pretty good. Interior. Also pretty clean. Start it up. She's still cold. That's for sure. It's starting to warm up. Showing 41,000 miles on the dash. motor feels peppy this is the first time that I've sat in this car and started messing around with everything uh, I do all the reviews we're all family here but we got people that buy people that do paperwork Blower motor is working on this one and then people like me that test drive all the cars try to fix little things Tail ring setting. also check see if the radio is working <laughs> Same with the armrest on this one. I'm giving her a little bit more time, you know, just sitting here in a warm up. Turn signals there. Turn signal on this side is working. Place your bets. Do you think the horn works? We've got good power steering there. Nice and silky. Cracks the steering wheel. But what about the horn? It does work. Okay, let's go ahead and hit the road and we'll see how she runs and drives. Up. The temperature gauge hasn't really moved. I don't know if it's hooked up or what. We'll keep an eye on that and see if anything changes. Gas gauge is on E, so I want to stop and get a little bit of fuel here. Try reverse. A little bit of a hesitation there. Back in the drive. Like I said, this motor feels hot. So it should have a little get up and go. did just spike up and it's around 170 speedometer is working and honestly that front end is pretty straight it has a very very subtle left fade it's nothing major that could be as little as tire pressure
really tight steering on this one as well. I'm gonna get about $20 worth of premium fuel and we'll keep the test drive rolling. I wanna get undercarriage shots, some outside footage, and look below in the description. We have our website and links to all the stuff that I use to make these videos. I'll be right back, guys. premium fuel in this ride right here behind the tank and then of course we'll check the gauge in here on the dash it's up there in the corner looks like it works too so we were almost out of gas Okay, got y'all on the head cam here, heading back to the lot now. Let's roll out. <laughs> Tire ripper. Golly, that sun is bright today. Here we go. Smooth. 
motor's got a ton of pickup. I'm gonna do my best to uh, keep the glare down from the sun right now. This one does seem like it's running a little bit rich. It's getting a little bit more fuel than it needs. But it's definitely got a ton of power. <laughs> you see that Miata? It's a roll cage. That's all it is. He just took everything off. <laughs> Quite smooth on suspension, even though it is lowered. You've seen it knock over my camera there when we got the undercarriage shot. Nice little bump in the road right here. That was pretty smooth. And I'm right down the road from Maple Motors now. Of course, we're gonna be at the light for a little while. Uh, looks like it just changed. So picking out the flaws is coming up next. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't see the baby reveal from the weekend, check it out. I had fun and definitely, uh, definitely was a cool experience. All right, guys, I'll be right back. I'm here to pick out the flaws. Let's walk around the Chevelle here. Anything I find, you'll know about it. Detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. Up here in the front, let's get started. Front bumper's in pretty good shape. Headlight bezels look pretty good too. Over your front end there, little bug marks. Spot there on the stripe. A little chip there on the edge. Some dirt here at the bottom. Little chips. And a few chips in the back here. I'm trying to work with the afternoon shadow here. little debris from the road there chip behind the bumper little chip there scratch there also here one right there on the paint also there come on shadow Little chips on the edge of the door. Scratch there. Some dirt. Looks like a ding right here. It's very, very light, but it is there. Little chip here. Little scuff. over the top of the fender front windshield oh we do got a little star a little star there right there chipping the windshield a little ding there in your trim trim around your vent windows got a little bit of pitting in it chip there chrome looks good a little 
little chips on top. chip there crack there spot in the corner your back bumper on this one fairly clean little ding here seal in the trunk is older see how it's got some spots it's it's definitely hard. It's not squishy. It's like crumbling. In your trunk. Get your spare. Got your jack. Looks decent. New mat. That's nice. There. Okay, coming down with the trunk lid. Hanging a little bit there on the back. Coming down this side. Little chips on the edge of the door there. Little chip there. Open over. Chip behind the bumper coming back your midsection. Chip up top, scratch down the side. Chip in the back here. Somebody just added these stripes there on top of the paint. You can take them off. Mirror there looks decent. Vent window seal, decent. Front windshield on this side is good to go. chips in the front there made it around the outside let's look at the interior and get her started see as far as the top goes the seal on the inside looks good the inside of the top it's a little scuff there but I don't think there's any holes looking around door panels got some blemishes same with your armrest In your jam there. Not bad. The seat in this one looks pretty good. It's not tore up. The carpet looks great. Your back seat also looks good.
didn't miss nothing here. Motor's nice and quiet. Front of the hood, clean. Coming down with your hood. Comes down and shuts easy. Little scuff there on the hood. Shouldn't come out. It looked like it was on top. Okay, we made it around the ride here. There's detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. Financing and shipping is available. Heading back to the lot now. Make sure to check the description on every video. There's some links down there for you. I appreciate it. See you later.